नाउ स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर 7.16 एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन टू यू फ्रॉम अ यूनिफॉर्म डिस्क ऑफ रेडियस कैपिटल आर अ सर्कुलर होल ऑफ रेडियस कैपिटल आर बाई टू इज कट आउट द सेंटर ऑफ द होल इज एट आर बाई टू फ्रॉम सेंटर ऑफ द ओरिजिनल डिस्क क्लियर लोकेट द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ द रिजल्टेंट फ्लैट बॉडी क्लियर सो फर्स्ट वी आर लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन सो जस्ट यस नाउ कंसनट्रेट लेट सपोज आई एम सेंग टू यू हियर वी हैव अ सर्कुलर डिस्क लाइक दिस Let's suppose I am taking this as a uniform disc. Clear disc we have. This is C. Clear. I am taking a uniform disc of radius capital R. Clear. So let's suppose I am saying this is a center of this disc, and we can see from here to here, from this point, from this point to this point, we have total distance that is capital R. Clear. Or we can say radius that is given to you, a uh, capital R. Clear. Yes, so we can we can say here this radius is given that is capital R. Okay, a circular hole of radius r by two is cut out. Clear? So let's suppose now I am drawing here one more circle, and let's suppose this circle is like this. Clear? So let's suppose we are cutting out this portion from this uniform disc. Clear? It means now we can say this disc it should be like this. Clear to everyone? this one clear and it is given here this uh, uh, we can say this cavity or we can say this cavity is having here radius that is r by 2 clear yes now what is our objective in this question our objective in this question is to locate center of gravity of a resultant flat body clear now fully concentrate on a screen and my dear student this is a very very important question clear now Let's suppose I am assuming here a term that is sigma. Sigma we can see sigma is what we can say this is defined as a mass per unit area. Clear? I am defining sigma the as a mass per unit area. Clear? So if I talk about whenever we are talking about a uniform disc, clear? And we do not have any cavity. At that time I am taking mass of a disc, mass of complete disc. I am taking here mass of complete disc. So mass of complete disc that is given by capital M. Clear to everyone? So mass of com uh, mass of complete disc that is capital M. Clear? So how can we calculate? We can write like this: capital M. This is equal to sigma. And what is area of this uniform disc? We have area that is pi r square. So I can say this is pi r square. Clear? Now, if I write here, what is mass of removed portion what is mass of removed portion clear so now we can say let's suppose i am assuming removed portion mass we have that is m dish and this is equal to we can say sigma clear pi now it is given in a question we are having a radius of this portion that is r by 2 so i can say this is pi r square by 4 clear or you can also write like this this is equal to capital m by 4 clear so this is a mass of a removed portion clear now if we talk about center of mass so whenever we are talking about uniform disc so for uniform disc we have center at this point clear and i can say this is center of mass i am assuming this as 0 comma 0 clear and center of mass of a removed portion is this one clear this is a center of mass of a removed portion clear and i can say uh, coordinate r given that is r by 2 comma 0 clear now now our objective here in this question is to calculate uh, center of mass of a remaining portion clear so let's suppose i am taking here this is my origin clear i can say horizontal lines are uh, denoting x axis and this one is denoting y axis clear so how can we calculate here we will apply this formula Xm, Xm we can write like this m1 x1. Now important part. Actually because here we are removing some portion, that's why we can write here m1 x1 minus m2 x2 divided by m1 minus m2. 
clear to everyone because we are removing here some portion that's why we can write axiom like this clear now if we talk about m1 m1 is equal to let's suppose i am taking only capital m so capital m x1 i am taking zero because uh, center of mass of this uniform disc we have at origin clear and minus i can say m2 m2 it is equal to m by 4 and value of x2 value of x2 we can say uh, coordinate we have r by 2 so i can say this is r by 2 clear divided by clear divided by now i can say m1 so we can say m1 this is equal to capital m minus value of m2 value of m2 we can say this is m by 4 clear so if we solve it we can find here center of mass of this remaining portion clear so we can see we can write like this this is minus mr divided by 8 into i can say this 4 and divided by thrice m clear so we can say m and m this is cancelled out this one is 2 so from here we can see we are getting center of mass of a remaining portion at a position minus r by 6 it means what is actual position of center of mass actually we are getting that position here clear and coordinates are given to you coordinates are given to you here minus r by 6 comma 0 clear to everyone so like this we can calculate position or, or we can say lo location we can actually calculate position of a center of mass of a remaining portion clear so this is all about this question clear